nations lived together in harmony, but that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Megabase. So, if you did not manage to catch the last stream, um, I did a little bit of work, um, mostly upgrading the Spidertron fleet. So, if um, we look over this way, yep. Uh, we can see we have seven Spidertrons now. Um, we had a new addition to the family of... Who was it? I think it was Daniel. Uh, but anyway, we've, we've got seven of them now, and they are all actually Spidertron Mark III. And they are all kitted out, as you can see, with many, 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 many rockets. Plus some shields, some power generation, a few laser defenses, and some exoskeletons. Um, also, during that stream... Um, see, this was almost a week ago now. I can't actually remember what I did during that stream and what I did otherwise. I, I have an oil outpost down here. That may have been new. But yeah, I have... Yes! The oil outpost is new. Um, it works the same as the other trains, um, the, the, the other outposts at the other stations, uh, and the other stations I should say. There's just a train going between oil outpost 1 there, and base oil drop-off here, which just feeds directly into the system here. Um, also, science-wise, um, during the stream there was a little bit of a hiccup where my... The game was up to date, but the mods were not, and the game crashed after three hours of work and having just upgraded all the Spidertrons. So I did use a little bit of cheaty command things just to get back to where I was, but as a side effect of that, I now have one extra um, of each infinite research. So you can see here it says I've already got artillery research one. And two is waiting to go. Um, so we're... I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, what I would like to do is stronger explosives. Quite pricey, the next one. Stronger explosives, 11. But we will do it. Uh, so that will actually kick the factory back into action. So since the last stream, I've also done bits and bobs of work. I've let everything back up. I've upgraded me as well. So I am pretty much unkillable now. So this is my armor down here. Yeah. So we have four shielded singularities, producing a total of 12 megawatts between them. Um, two battery threes, six shield threes, 20 personal laser defenses, 20 exoskeletons, which is why I've got them switched off. Because when I switch them on, I go a little bit faster. Um, plus, just because awkwardness. Oh, I've got five personal RoboPort 2s. And the... I'm apparently missing a bot from somewhere. Eh. Um, so, five of them. Oh, I forgot I had this mod still installed. Uh, this just... You might see what that's for, actually. Um, I thought I'd disabled that mod, but anyway. That will be a thing that will be coming out soon, DM. Um, right, so we've got, yeah, five Roboport 2s, uh, and just because oh, just because of some space up here, there's the belt immunity and portable solar panels. So, yeah, I'm not even firing at this point. Yeah. Um, so I can just, like, stand in the middle here, and... If the lasers had better range, like, like I said, virtually unkillable. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm not really going to do much in the way of fighting myself. Because I don't know, again... 
if you missed the stream, then, well, you missed it, I guess. Um, the VOD should be up by now, though. Um, that's what my Spidertrons are for. So uh, I showed you how they were all kitted out. They're all kitted out exactly the same at this point, and we've still got loads of upgrading space. Um, oh, here's a thing I did, by the way. Um, so just at the end of the bus here, I've got this setup, which when I put rocket control units in here, makes me shield threes and battery threes. Makes them slowly, but the shielded singularity, which gives me all of that power, takes 20 shield threes and 10 fusion batteries. 20 shield threes use um, between them, well, they use 10 energy shield each. Sorry, that's, sorry, 20 of these. So they use 10 shield mark twos. That's 200 shield mark twos, which is 2,000 energy shields. So yeah, it's a little bit on the slow side. But yeah, I've been building those up. Anyway, first thing to do today is we have another member joining the Spidertron family. So I think I have all of the stuff in these two boxes. Yep, so build me a Spidertron 3. Whoops. Um, actually, if I take that out of there. Now build me a Spidertron 3. There we go. That'll take a little bit of time. I've got the rockets ready to go in and this is all the stuff to put in the equipment grid so just need to wait for these to craft and here we go so this one uh, just rounding out the colors will be a black and everybody say hello to Jaif or Jaif I think it's Jaif that, at least that's how I've been pronouncing it in my head um, is my first subscriber on Twitch, because I managed to make Twitch affiliate, so that is now a thing that happens. Okay, uh, so we'll grab the rockets and feed them to Jay Ooh, a bit closer. There you go. We'll grab all of that stuff, and we want uh, which way round have I got the bots? Okay, so we've got fifty. Oh, they've mixed them with mine, haven't they? Okay, so we, we, we will literally words. We will have fifty of them there, which should be okay. We've just got half a stack of them. The others have fifty. Everyone else has fifty, um, and twenty-five of these. There we go, because each of these only has one uh, robo port. Mark two, and then if I squeeze that over there, can I see? All right, so we've got three shields at the top. One, two, three. Followed by the Robo Port two, and there we go. So we'll just leave that a little bit of time for it to power everything. I imagine. Uh, okay, it's the shields that are ramping up first, because yeah, with just two portable fusion reactors, it's going to take them a little bit of time. Okay, so that's the Robo Port switched on. Everything else has power. So we will leave Jafe a little bit of time to power up, and then we'll take them out for a spin. In the meantime, um, we've got a little bit of stuff to think about where we want to take the series from here. So this, so far, is basically the starter base. This is where we will build everything we need to build the base. Um, with everything running, it's a little bit underpowered. Um, so, like, most of the base is switched off at the moment. Uh, so we've got about twice as much power as we need. But when everything actually starts running, um, or running, like, proper full-time, uh, we use sort of... That bar comes down to about here. So... I could add on another steam column and separate out the power grid from the starter base to the mega base. Uh, I haven't yet decided what I want to do there. But in any case, we've got some extra stuff to add. Because at the moment, we do not have any production of Mark III assemblers. We do not have any production of substations or beacons. Um, 
these are doing fine. Um, these production of the Mark III modules. I don't really care about the efficiency modules, but productivity and speed are certainly going to be needed. Uh, so we do have a lot to do. Uh, how are you going? Are you powered up? Okay, that is powered up. All right, so that's filling up the battery now. Another thing we will definitely have to look at doing is uh, this belt production thing, uh, which, by the way, I noticed there was a mistake because um, these four machines, or that one was already hooked up, but these three machines down here for the um, Mark 6, 7, and 8 splitters also need blue circuits, which I did not realize, so I've had to tweak that. But when we actually switch that on properly, that is going to use so much iron. So we are going to need to upgrade iron to express belts, or possibly even faster. And we will also need, similarly, to up upgrade stuff over here. Um, so like add on the extra things at the end. Now they are, okay, they are Mark 3s. How many Mark 3 modules do I need for that? It doesn't actually say there. What if I do that? 128. Okay. So in preparation for that, uh, that's not modules. Modules live up here. Let's tell you to make three stacks. Okay, and plenty of blue belts. Um, I'd like some more blue splitters. And how are we for undergrounds? Let's get some more undergrounds as well. Okay, um, also in use since the last episode, there is another Spider-Tron. There is this one here called the Ghost Weaver. I haven't built one yet. It's basically an alternative Mark I Spider-Tron. Um, see, some of it is the same cost, so it still costs the fish, the control units, the low density structures. Um, but then instead of being combat oriented like this one, it is instead production oriented. It comes with a massive inventory of its own and a reasonable sized grid. The, the, the idea is it works as a base builder, uh, much like Celo used to be. Okay, well, about halfway there on the battery. So I think what I will do, if I just yoink, no, too, too far away, yoink, yoink, there we go. Yoink and yoink. And then one of these, this is my upgrading one. Um, definitely everything. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just upgrade this bit, I think. Okay, and we'll take these blue belts all the way back to the beginning, basically. Okay, so that's all the belts upgraded. Uh, I did have to go back and grab some more belts. I didn't quite have enough on me. Uh, but, let's see. I think if I, yeah, if I just copy this, I will grab that bit and just overlay there. Okay, so miss, missing the power lines on the end. That's fine, I can do that. There we go, and I don't need those three chests. Okay, so I need the miners. I'm still short a few belts, and then, of course, we need to module the relevant parts, because at the moment, we're even though everything's blue belts, this is only four red belts worth of iron coming through. And we are using all of it. Mostly because we need to replenish those um, those blue belts. Uh, but anyway. Um, okay, so how many modules do we have here? Not enough. Should be able to do the furnaces though. 
Okay, so now it's just the modules we need, and then we'll have four blue belts worth of iron. I think by now, though, um, Jave's battery should have finished. Yep, that's all full. Okay, so if you haven't seen this... Um, oh, actually, over here, I do have a remote ready for you. There. So that is now your remote. Excellent. Welcome to the family. Um, yes, I, I have this mod, the Spidertron Squad Remote, which enables me to do this. Which is kind of horrifying. Uh, but now the really fun thing is, because I now have eight Spidertrons... And I have the Octa Spider. 64 legs. They're not very good at getting all in the same place. Huh, but I can control them all. <laughs> like that. So I've got... So I am now sending them all down to here. Uh, because this iron outpost... Uh, again, the pollution is starting to reach beyond where I can see, which is fine, but not ideal. Um, while we do that, a couple of other things. Um, on the stream, you can see I finally circumnavigated the lake. Um, luckily, this bit did not join up with this bit over here. There's a path through, and even though you can't walk it, there's it's, there's a spider tronable um little bit there that you can go across. Um, I did do some exploring down here. This is not uh, a dead end. This does continue. Um, so, I mean, it's a nice easy place to wall off, I guess. Um, also, after the stream, uh, during just the, the bits of work I was doing to get ready for Jafe, Spidertron and all of that, um, I may or may not have stepped in front of a train. So now there is a third pistol in there. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on camera, but it happened. So I'm coming clean. I'll let you know. So yeah, with the five sets of legs, these, you know, they're not super fast, but you know, they're they're fast enough. Actually, if I if I ended up doing the thing I thought I think I was going to do for the intro, you'll know what this looks like. But it's fun. Bye bye. Yeah, and with the shields and the eight thousand health they've got, I mean these guys can take a nuke to the face even without the shields. Uh, I think. Um, but they, they just don't take damage. Let's take care of some of these ones down here. So, yeah, let's, if I just tell them to go stand in the middle. That base is gone. It's just not there now. Some of them did take some shield damage. And over here. And down here. Uh, frame rate suffers a bit. Yeah, so even just like doing it from the minimap, you send in the the Octotron just somewhere and all the red goes away. <laughs> So yeah, I mean it's this is ridiculously overpowered. I must say I really like how it doesn't waste rockets. Like even if you've got multiple Spidertrons in range of something, if it will only take one rocket to kill a thing, only one rocket is fired.
Doesn't take splash damage into account, which is why nuclear weapons are a, a real problem. Uh, oh, 93 million. That'll do nicely. But yeah, it's just n nothing can withstand the onslaught here. Do, do, do. Goodbye, red. This is like painting. We just have to paint away the red splotches. And of course, they all have stupid amounts of rockets. You, you saw how many I put in each of them. Yeah, it's got 11,000 rockets. It's, they're, they're not going to run out. Hmm. Fun. Oh yes, they also have an absolutely massive radar range. Which is nice. So, yeah, these guys, pretty strong. Um, I'm not actually sure, like, is it... Oh, that's not the right button. Um, one of these, but... Okay, so according to this, um, the current evolution factor is point zero, uh, sorry, zero point 0.0.9749. So, 97.5%. And I don't think um oops is that no that is sending all of them yeah i don't think i could damage these if i tried yeah i'm not even getting a, a notification saying so and so is being damaged the shields are enough i can send them right into the middle of a base and these are massive bases let's, let's see if i can send it between two bases Frame rate is hurting. Oh, they're taking some hits. The the the, the shield is going down. Oh, hey! I've actually lost four robots in that. But yeah, like if I don't do something stupid, like deliberately send it halfway between two bases and aggro them both at once. I don't think I can lose with this. Alright, well, we will send um, the Octatron on a journey. We'll go the long way around the lake, just destroying things along the way. Not, not destroy everything. Um, but, yes. Meanwhile... <laughs> Shall we do some stuff over here? Oh, yeah, even even back at base, the frame rate is dying. Down to 40 frames per second. You can tell when it walks through a base. Look, here, not doing anything. 50, 50, oh, it's going down. Oh, back up. 60 frames a second. Nothing's going on over there, clearly. Oh, 55. Must have fired a few rockets there. Oh, right down to 40. Must be, oh, 35. Must be going through the middle of a base. <laughs> yeah, and back up to 60 fun okay so I have I spent a little bit of time doing that um, and pressed alt at some point okay I've only got 80 of these but let's see if I can do something over here oh Octatron's going through another base by the sounds of it okay so I don't need to do the steel one it's just the iron one here we go right and um, what I want to do is so I just want to rip up the furnaces from there and replace them with ones that have modules in them. Okay, how are we going over here? Oh, we're done. Octatron, advance!
Okay, so we're still missing 48 of these things, but oh, frame rate is not at all happy at the moment. I think I might bring these guys home just for the sake of some frames. In fact, I'm going to send them home anti-clockwise around the lake because I suspect that some of these bases that I riled up are having uh, biter issues. In fact, if I... no, not that button. Um, okay, yeah, I, th I think it's something to do with this. So if I put on this show path requests, I think something is trying to path to my Spidertron. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can go kill it. This base, apparently, is trying to pass to the Spidertron. Octotron. Yeah, this is where the issue is. Entity updates. Way there we go. I got my frames back for a second while it figured out its paths. Yeah, I need to kill some of these bases that I've aggroed. That's what's going on here. Okay, I think... I have resolved the issue. There's a couple of red dots around I want to make sure, uh, which, like this, which I think are just radar ghosts, but I will check. Um, uh, okay, I didn't get too close to that. Uh, it's just those two worms. And yeah, so running past a base and like, aggroing it, but not staying long enough to actually fight any of the biters. I think that's what caused my frames issue there, but at some points during that, I was down to like 10 frames per second, because the game was just spend, spending so long trying to pathfind. Um, but anyway, turn that off now. Okay, so yeah, we'll just bring uh, the Octatron straight home once I've taken care of these two dots. That one being nothing, this one being a worm, which I apparently left behind. Okay, and you go home. Okay. Well, I also added this, which if I turn that on, will also start making all of the other belt components of all eight tiers. So, we'll do that, because I'll want some belts of higher tiers when we come to mega base production. Um, yeah, that immediately kills all of this again. I will leave that off for now, actually. Simply don't have enough throughput. I would need some of the higher tier belts and to speed module all of that as well. But I have I have 20 of these. Shall we have a look at them? These are the the highest tier belts. So if I put an item on that, yeah, that's, that's pretty fast. I think they take longer to mine as well. Yeah, they take considerably longer to mine. But anyway, you go back in there for now. Okay, so anything else we want to do this episode? What do substations require? Copper, steel, and advanced circuits. That should be relatively easy. In fact, I'm just going to do a thing. Okay, apparently I have no level 3 assemblers on me. Copper, steel, and advanced circuits. Into a chest. With a bit of power, please make substations. Yep, so that's just going to do its thing. Um, I am aware things are getting messy here, by the way. Um, and I'm going to have stuff all over. I will have a, logis a logistic system, apparently. A logistic system, like, collating everything in one place. Alright, let's bring these guys home. We've had your fun for today. Um, level 3 assemblers. Now, the issue with level 3 assemblers is they require level 2 assemblers, which require level 1 assemblers. 
So I would like to have them up here, where I'm making my level 1 and level 2 assemblers, uh, there. But they also require speed modules, which I'm making down here. I'm thinking might just have to double up on things down here. Oops, that's not right. Make level 3, you. Make level 2, you. Make level 1. And I need to feed in iron, gears and circuits, and steel, and those guys. So iron, gears, circuits and steel. There we go. That should now give me production of level 3 assemblers. We'll wait just as long as it takes to make sure that they're working. Yep, that's a level 3 assembler. Lovely. Okay, uh, was there anything else I definitely wanted to make? Uh, we will have to work on a logistics system at some point. Because I've got stuff all over this base. I've got belts down here, I've got power poles and other assembly machines up there, modules here, beacons. Um, but yes, I'll want to bring all of that to a single place. Uh, right, so green and red circuits, copper cable and steel. And green and red circuits are here, and it would make sense for these to be next to um, next to the modules. So down here by the low density structures, I do that and that and that like that. Strictly speaking, this belt is not necessary, but otherwise I'll have an odd number of underground belts, which will not do. You are making beacons. You are making copper wire. So you get steel. Uh, all of this will have to be copied to there. And that should now be everything you need. Yep, there you go. So I'll give you an output into a box and we have beacons not going to limit the chests going to need a lot of them okay we're actually using enough iron that looks like one train isn't enough to keep things going which is interesting where is my iron train at the moment it's just just pulling into the station down here yeah this this is so far away yeah by the time the train gets down there and back we've actually I'm not doing well on iron at all. So I guess that calls for another iron train, but that is a problem for next time, I think. Um, I don't think there will be a Factorio stream this week. Uh, I may do another game instead. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Uh, next time I... What shall we do next time? Maybe next time we'll get the logistics network set up. Uh, but I am going to leave it there for now. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.